with Let's bring that down a little bit. How's the volume on that? Turn yours up from your side if needed. Can you hear me okay over the top? Right. Okay, so we're going to start with a little bit of shoulder loosening. So if you can roll alternate shoulders. Let's get our shoulders loosened up. And I'd like you to drop your head and roll it round to one side and look behind your shoulder and then drop your chin down and round and look behind the other shoulder and do that again let your head and neck go loose and floppy breathe and do it again allow your body to kind of sigh one more time each way Girls. And then I want you to hunch your shoulders up and then let them drop. Hunch your shoulders up. Hi Jen, how are we doing? So hunch and then drop. Hunch and drop. Now rolling your shoulders back, opening through your chest. And then I'd like you to draw a big circle with your arm. Circling back, you're brushing your ears, your arm, nice sweep and spread out your feet. And then reversing in the opposite direction. And then if you can take your feet just a little bit wider, I'd like you to side lean and then move to the middle. So the other way, we're going to side lean. Here comes Sue. Hi, Sue. Breathe in as you lift. Breathe out. Reach your fingers. Now imagine your back was against a wall, would your head be sort of leaning forwards away from the wall? Try to bring your head back, especially as you go into the side lead. And you go a little bit further now. Breathing in. Breathing out. think about posture now so lengthening up through the crown of the head we're going to take the arms wide turn the palms up I want you to circle the knee out and around see if you can do it without putting your foot on the floor can you point your toes reach into your fingers making the circle bigger and then reversing back the other way You can get your hands up slightly higher than your shoulders. Welcome the wobble on these. Alrighty, let's relax the arms. And we'll do that on the other side. Knee coming up, out and around. Imagine you're drawing a circle with the knee. How steady can you be on that supporting leg? And let's reverse. The hands just above your shoulders. That's it. relaxing your shoulders down. Alrighty, so next up we're going to take our feet wider. So turning the toes outwards now, we're going to bend into the knee and push your bottom backwards. And then release, standing up. And then drop, pushing your bottom backwards. As you bend the leg with this other hand, apply just a little bit of pressure on the straighter leg. We're going to hold down there now for three, two, one. And release. Rotate the opposite shoulder towards the bent leg knee. Let's do that again. 
So rotate, opposite shoulder towards the bent leg knee. Breathe in. Breathe out. And can we do that one more time on each side? So final one. And then from here, if you can walk your feet together, and we're going to take the hands wide, balancing on our tiptoes, and we rotate and look over the back shoulder. Staying on our tiptoes and then dropping down as we get to the middle. Let's do that again. So rising onto tiptoes. How steady can you be in your legs as you turn the body? And come back down. Let's give that another go. Spreading out your toes. Coming right up onto your tiptoes. And you feel your calf muscles contracting. Let's do that again. going to do that one more time each way. And final one. Alrighty, let's release. So, are we feeling a bit warmer? Now the joints are a bit more oiled. We're going to come down onto our back. So if you could join me down here on our mat and breathe in. And breathe out. Are you looking for online classes that support you with getting more me time? You want to get supple, strong, feel less stress, get in the driving seat. But actually, perhaps you've noticed that following videos on uh, YouTube isn't actually helping you commit. Uh, it's not like the teacher reaches out and says, um, Correct your hips, bring your knee back, move your posture back. And this is the problem. So, um, of course, you can hit subscribe to get more from the Zig's YouTube channel. But let's face it, we're not going to send our children to a school without a teacher or a tutor. I mean, what's their life going to be like if um, they're going to learn in that way? So uh, my name is Claire Louise Freeman. I'm the business owner of Zig's Exercise. And I like to encourage you to, to join me and my community online where we get together via Zoom and we practice Pilates conditioning, yoga stretches, mobility. And the thing is, we get to actually talk through this stuff. We get to do it together. And to me, consistently doing it together is the thing that gives us much, much better results than if we're left flailing around in front of a video trying to do it all by ourselves. So if you'd like more information about joining me and others, please reach out, get in touch. Um, you can work with us morning, evening, from the comfort of your own home. It's great because you get all the kit together at home and it does help you to practice in between as well. So um, I'm offering a complimentary kickstart call. Uh, we can talk through what's getting in the way, you know, why it's not worked so far. And um, sometimes the, the, the hardest bit is actually just picking up the phone and um, talking it through. So brave pants on. I work with all sorts of people from various walks of life, different shapes and sizes. And often people um, who do work with me do it because they say that I do it in a very non-judgmental way. Of course, it's free to talk. Uh, so you can click the link in the description box below and we can uh, get to know each other and see if we're a good fit. There's no pressure here. On the call, I'll listen in to, you know, what you need support with, what your personal needs are, and I can answer any of your questions about our online um, Pilates and yoga where we do it together in community. Why wait? This stuff doesn't get any easier as we get older. We work with lots of busy parents, um, grandparents, uh, business owners, NHS professionals, private school teachers, regular school teachers. Um, 
So if that feels like you and you need that support and accountability on getting it done, that's the thing. If we've got the sessions booked in regularly, that means we're much more likely to show up. And it's that regularity that people are often missing. You know, they take time off during holidays. Um, it, it's the commitment that gets the motivation. So why wait? Um, book in, give me a call and uh, I'll see you on the other side. Requested by Anne. If you can come down onto your back, I'd like you to take your arms wide and let your knees drop. They press down towards the floor. And then can you bring your knees up to your chest? Drop your knees down over to the other side. And push your top knee into your bottom knee. Let's do that the other way. Knees up and over. When you're down there, I want you to take a deep breath in, pressing your shoulders towards the ground. Let's do that the other way. Can you squeeze your knees together as you transition over to the other side, pressing the shoulders down. Breathe. And do that again, knees together. Pressing down, breathe. And one more on each side. The last one. Alrighty, from there, if you can place your feet flat and bring your arms down in by your side with your palms up. Roll the shoulders down and curl the bottom under. We're moving up now into a shoulder bridge. Lifting the hips. Print your spine down bone by bone as you roll back to the floor. And let's do that again. We're going to squeeze the pelvic floor muscles on the way up. Hold the squeeze at the top and then roll the spine down, segmentally moving. Let's do that again, curling from behind, closing your eyes, squeezing the buttock muscles at the top. I want you to really feel for the buttocks coming down one by one, for that segmental movement to mobilize the back. Let's do it again, lifting at the top, breathing in, exhaling and imprinting down bone by bone, inhaling at the bottom, exhaling and lifting. Now you can either keep going with the basic bridge or if you have a little look at me on this next one, notice now I'm hovering one leg at the start and then aiming to keep the hips level as I come up on the one leg. And then rolling back down, switching the leg, hovering. I only want you to do that version if you've got good segmental movement in your spine and a happy back. And if you can keep that good positioning with your hips so that your hip bones are level. Advanced, we had an extension in the leg. Control the movement, tap down. Just going to do that a couple more times through. So one more each way. sacroiliac joint stretch. So if you bring your right knee up to your chest and straighten the other leg down long. We're going to keep our opposite hand on the knee and bring the knee across the body, placing the foot on the floor and 
notice this back hand is sort of trailed behind, the hand is above the shoulder. Turn and press the back shoulder down, so you're looking behind that shoulder now. But at the same time as pressing the shoulder down, pressing the knee down towards the ground with the opposite hand. Close your eyes and breathe into your belly. And again, deep breath. Use this time as your breathing space of the day. Alrighty, we're gonna roll to the middle. And can we bring our other knee up to our chest? Straightening the other leg down. Rolling the foot to the floor, trailing the back arm behind. Looking towards our back shoulder and pressing the shoulder down, pressing the knee down, closing the eyes, breathing into the belly. And again, deep breath. Roll to the center. And I'd like you to park your hands here underneath the back of the leg. And then if you can rock yourself up to a seated position, we're gonna do some curls next. So we're gonna bend the legs and then roll the body down, touching the back of the head on the floor, and then curling the body smoothly back up. Now, if it's tricky to get yourself up and down, you can hook a strap underneath your feet to help lever your body up and down. If it's doable, hands free, then we'll keep the palms facing up. Focus on lifting your chest and eye gaze up with the ceiling to help with good head alignment. Over time, with more advanced option, we bring the arms here by the ears. And can we keep the arms back by the ears? Thumbs tap down behind. See if you can do it in a controlled way, so we're removing any jerkiness in the move. We're not looking for perfection just yet. Just homing in on, can you slow it down where we tend to speed up on those jerky points? And we do that three more times. Inhaling on the roll down, exhaling on the lift. And two more. And final one, keep it going. If you can meet me at the top of the move, we're gonna turn the soles of our feet inwards and we're gonna take hold of our ankle bones. And I'd like you to sort of park yourself up onto your sitting bones. You're elongating your spine and then just a gentle press to the inner thigh with the elbow. Now my upper body, as I do that pressure, can either sort of do this and round, but I want you to try and do this and lengthen through the crown of your head so you lean forward, leading from your breastbone. And then let's release so the knees come up and we'll repeat and do that again. So press down, let your chest lean forwards. And let's release. We do that one more time, please. Okay, good job. So we'll give the legs a shake and we're going to flip over onto our front next. If you can join me down here on our front, we'll take our hands just slightly wider than our chest. I want you to push the ground away. Now tune in. What do your shoulders do? Just hunch them up like this. Press your blades down your back as you lower your body. And you keep your shoulder blades pressed down your back when you're in the lift mode. 
hold at the top just for a few seconds and then lower back down so tuning into the shoulders on this one focusing in on your posture can you do it with some core control back will generally feel happier if you suck your belly button muscle in create what we call intra-abdominal pressure give your back support if you can draw your belly button in and squeeze your glutes what do they call these bunders drawing the belly button under in inhaling on the lift exhaling on the lower and you hold each one at the top now for three on, meeting Nicola's dog. Hello. And back down. A big stuffy face on the screen. <laughs> and a waggy tail. <laughs> I think you'd call that the underdog, Nicola. Not the down dog. Okay, last one. And then we'll meet in the downward dog. We need dogs that are join us. So, up we come. toes underneath, pressing your heels down. We're going to mobilize our calves and our feet by flexing like this. So we press our heel down on one side, but flex into our toes on the other. Well, I've done a lot of walking this weekend. We had our members social on Saturday, so we had a good old stomp over Lecampton Hill. I went to meet a, an old uni friend. Welsh mountains. She lives down in the valleys. So, had a good walk over Sugarloaf, which was great, but definitely feeling the calves today. We to really tune in, have a little chat with your calves. How are they feeling? Take a, a walk with our feet towards our hands. And if you can just hang loose for a moment and just sort of a bit floppy, a bit ragdoll like, we'll take hold of the elbows like this. And we just swing from one side round to the other. Swinging round. Breathe. more on each side so we're going to uncurl the back a bit like we're rolling our spine up against a wall and now's a good time if you would like to help yourselves to a drink now's a good time to to top up having an isotonic drink tonight for me i need some electrolytes after a, a weekend of walking Okay, so yoga stretching next. And we go wide with our feet. A nice big space between our feet. Arms up, so arms facing down, shoulder height. We're going to turn our toes fully out on this side. You can bend into your knee. We're going to push the back heel away. So we sink into our warrior pose. Your shoulders stacked over your hip. I want you to gaze off down the middle finger and practice some deep breathing. In through the nose, into the belly, and then exhaling out. As you breathe in, imagine you're filling up with positive, healthy energy. Exhaling out any tension and worries. And again, breathing deeply. Straighten the leg. And then slide our hand with straight legs to our shin, lengthening up with our top hand. So if you are a bit more bendy or further practice, you might want to bring your hand down to the floor. 
eye gaze up to my top hand. Bending the knee, switching back to our warrior pose, coming back to that deep breath. Inhaling positive, healthy energy. Exhaling any tension and worries. Let's release. Then we're going to turn our toes out over on this side now. Bend the knee, pushing the back heel away. Gazing off down the middle finger, breathing deeply. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Breathing in, positive, healthy energy. Exhaling any tension and worries. Let's straighten the leg. Sliding the hand to the shin. Letting the eye gaze up to the top hand, or again, a bit of advanced stretch, we bring the hand down to the floor, keeping the head back, breathe. Bending into the knee, gazing down the middle finger, breathe in through the nose, into the belly, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. One more time, filling your belly up and emptying. Let's release. We're going to turn our toes to face forwards, bringing the hands down into the middle of the feet. Now, some of you will feel braver than others, some of you will feel bendier than others. So, if you're feeling brave and bendy, you might take your feet a bit wider. If you're not, that's fine. Just explore the width of your feet. I'm going to drop the head down, have a look at the world from a different angle. Always good to have a different perspective on things. Breathe. Okay, and then from here, I want you to drop your bottom to the ground. We've now got a wide leg position. And I'd like you to lengthen your arms out sideways. And we're going to take a side lean, getting hold of the shin, the ankle, and the foot, bringing this top arm over by the ear, letting your head drop down towards the knee. Holding it there for a few seconds, noticing how it feels. And let's back up and I'd like you to point your toes here when you're at the top so point them and I want you to point quite firmly so you go right down into your big toes and then flexing your foot as you go into the side lean can you get your arm back by your ear extending your top arm inhaling and lifting pointing your toes exhaling and leaning You might go a little bit further. You might be stretching just enough as you are. Find your own version. Try and go just to where it feels a little bit uncomfortable. And focus on lengthening out with this top arm. So really reach this top arm sideways, like you're trying to reach the arm through the wall. Over time, if you can get that hand over towards the foot, we can start to scoop bottom arm away, more advanced, bringing the head down more towards the knee over time. So find your level with it. Down for three, two, one, and then releasing, pointing the toes, and then flexing. Three, two, one. Do two more. Breathe. So final one. Alrighty, let's give our legs a shake out. Now's a good time for another drink. 
let's keep ourselves topped up. I'm going to do some more core work next, so you'll need to come down onto your back when you're ready. Is it hot in here or is it my hormones? Okay, so let's pop down onto our back again. I'd like you to slide your fingertips into the curve of your back. And you pull your belly button muscle in. And we're going to scissor the legs. So we've got one up, one down, toe tapping. So if you can do pointy toes for me. We'll do two pointy toes and then two flexed feet. So the heel comes down. Two pointy and then two flexy. advanced we're going to go straight a leg flexing and then pointing and you keep your hands imprinted breathe last couple and when you're done if you can bend your knees cuddle them to your chest and with your hands now on top of your knees, notice I'm rolling my knees around like this, circling, Just massaging the lower back against the floor. Just close your eyes and really get into the feel of massaging your lower back. Breathe. And reverse the circle. Tuning in to feeling in the lower back. You use the ground just to massage it, a bit like a bear scratching its back on a tree, enjoying that sensation. So one more circle. And then we're going to give our glutes a stretch. So if you could park your right leg over your left, with your hands around the back of your left leg. Use the hands to just pull the leg towards us. Use the elbow to push the knee outwards. We just score that stretch. Scale of one to ten, how strong is that stretch? If it's like a five, we need to pull in a bit more firmly. So you aim it more to a, a seven or eight. Breathe. For some of you, this stretch will feel like enough to stay with this version. For those of you who've moved this one on now, we're going to interlock the fingers like this around the front of the shin. To pull the leg in firmly, pushing the knee outwards. Breathe. Let's get that to go on the other side. So left over right. Hands around the back of the right leg. Your hands sort of up into the crease of your knee. Use the elbow to push out. So again, if you could score the stretch, scale of one to ten. Again, if it's about five or six, can you bring that up to like a seven, eight? Breathe. Nudging into the interlace for those of you who want to, or staying with that first version. Alrighty, let's release off. I'd like you to move into a side-lying position. Coming up onto your bottom elbow so that your elbow sits directly above your shoulder. And we're going to focus on locking our shoulder blades down. A little bit of lift in the waistline. The hips on the floor, but just a little bit of elevation through the midsection and then picking up the hip. I'm just going to hold it there. I don't want you to squeeze and make a fist on the bottom hand. So we're in a side plank. 
Now often the head will sort of creep forward, so try and keep the head back slightly. You're lining, if you had your body against a wall, your head and your bottom would be on the wall together. Lifting, two, three, squeezing the fist and then relaxing that bottom hand. So again, squeeze and make a fist. Now if you want to, you can add a bit of a sweep over with this arm. Can you lengthen the top arm, reach your fingers to the side wall and then come back down. And for first level, the knees are sort of in front of the body. For next level, the knee, the hip, the chest is in line. The arm over the top and then coming down for third level more advanced option so just doing this one if you're well rehearsed at doing some sidey planks go straight legs pressing your shoulder blades down away from your ears so that you're not creating a hunched posture in your shoulder that one more time and then let's give that a go on the other side we're gonna give that bottom shoulder a bit of a roll out and let's give that a go on the other side so bend knees just in front to begin with we lock the shoulders down and then lifting the waist picking up the hip squeezing that bottom hand and making a fist Tensing in that bottom hand and then relaxing as we come down. Squeeze and make the fist on that bottom hand. Two, three, and then lower. Adding in that sweep of the arm. And you straighten the top arm, head back. Inhaling and lowering. Exhaling and lifting. Level two, we adjust so that the knee is back. And the knees, hips, and chest are in line down the front of the body. Or the more advanced option, straight legs. That top foot over. And we do that twice more. Breathing in as we sweep the arm. Breathing out as we lower. One more time. Alrighty, from here we're going to turn over to all fours. So I want you to turn your upper body, get your eye gaze up to your top hand, stacking the shoulders one above the other. Reaching the fingers up to the ceiling and then bringing your hands back down to the floor. Keep your body weight just slightly forwards and your knees grounded as you turn and do the same the other way. So spreading out the fingers, and gaze up. Breathe. And release. Opening the knees. Notice my feet are together behind. So my upper body now is going to come down into a sort of plank arm. So we make a fist. Watch my lower back. Notice it's arching as I push my bottom back and my eye gaze is up. Open the chest. Pushing back until you feel a stretch around the groin muscles. Breathing deeply. Yeah, we're going to come down onto our front and we'll take a stretch for our quads. So if you can catch hold of one foot, you get your knees to touch together. Squeeze your heel towards your bottom. You can press your pubic bone down for the floor, though that may feel different for the guys, I'm sure. That's doable and you want to nudge it up a level. See if you can keep your heel on your bottom. Pubic bone pressed down and then your thigh bone actually lifted off the ground. Mm. 
let's release and go back to go on the other side. Catching hold of the other foot, heel towards your bottom. Pressing your hip bones and your pivot bone down. Adding a lift in the thigh bone for tucker option. up in or downward dog. Holding the downward dog. If your heels are nearly on the floor, wiggle your feet a little bit further back. Press your heels down, lifting your tailbone. It's great to have another little chat with your calves like we did towards the start of the session. Calves feeling now. Feeling a bit more ironed out in that department. Close your eyes and breathe into your belly. Like to take a walk with your feet towards your hands. to uncurl to standing and I'd like you to find a little bit of wall space next so if you could place your hand against the wall your hand is lined up next to your shoulder and then turn your fingers backwards and stretch your pecs so fingertips pointing backwards that's it and then your inside leg, same one as the arm, is going to stride forward so you're in a lunge position. That's it. And then you turn your upper body away from that arm. Looking behind the other shoulder, pressing the palm firmly into the wall. And then let's ease off the stretch. We're going to take the fingers just a little bit higher. Bending into the same knee, turning the head, breathing deeply as you look behind the shoulder. Noticing where you feel the stretch. It's good to stretch. Let's nudge the fingers a little bit higher up. Bending into your front knee. And let's release. So if you can turn around, hand again. Fingers pointing back, striding your inside leg into a step forwards, bending into your knee, turning so your eye gaze is looking over your shoulder. Breathe deeply and release. Can we take the fingers a little higher up, bending into your front knee, turning and looking high. Let's release and just take your hand a little bit higher up, spreading the fingers on that hand, pushing the palm into the wall, breathing into the belly. Alrighty, let's release. If you could place your hands here around the back of your head and drop your chin to your chest, applying a gentle pressure. Noticing, feeling around the back of the neck, breathe. And let's release. Now taking the hands here and interlocking them. Lifting your arms up behind you, lifting your chest. Chin up. Deep breath. And let's release down. So, time for a bit of R&R. &R. You can come down onto your back now. Place 
placing your hands on top of your belly. Like to close your eyes for a moment. And then just have a little bit of a, a yay me moment with yourself. That you did it, you showed up, you got it done. You've done something positive for your muscles, your bones, your joints, your health, your well-being. Taking a moment to think about how focus on your energy helps to influence those around you. It has that knock-on ripple effect. Good way to start the week. Tuning in to that rising and falling that's going on in the belly subconsciously. Noticing natural movement in the belly. Taking a deeper breath in through your nose so your belly rises. Holding your breath for four, three, two, one. Exhaling blowing out you can't blow out any more air. Do it again. Inhale, fill up the hands. Hold your breath and count to four. Exhaling out for as long as you can. Do it again. Filling up. Holding. Just one more time. Filling up. Holding. Exhaling. Allow yourself to rest. allow yourself this time to be in that rest and digest mode. Take a moment to set an intention for tomorrow where you'll take a little bit of breathing space in your day. How are you going to carry this energy forward throughout your week? like to just touch base with each day of your week. Just set the intention for where you're going to slide some of this practice in. back to your breathing, that rising, falling inside your belly. Changing the breath, just observing it now, resting with it. Open your eyes, roll yourself over to your side and when you're ready if you can just take a moment to hit your unmute for me I think that's made a, a real difference to your day if you guys have